And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aphelios Fiora. We had some good success with Lulu Fiora before, um, but I wanted to try out because I haven't played the newest best champion in the game with Fiora yet. Y'all know that I really like Fiora, always do pretty well with Fiora decks. I really like support and challenge as um, mechanics. I, I enjoy playing challenger decks and Demacia decks. And so um, always like playing Fiora decks. But now we're going to try it with Aphelios because basically he, the reason to pair these two together is that Targon is another good region to pair with Fiora where you have good uh, protection spells. Um, you know, you have your Sunbless Vigor, Pale Cascade, Guiding Touch, but then cards like Bastion also help protect. So it's a good region with Fiora. And then um, having Aphelios, this is another champion that if you just kind of sit back and protect Aphelios, Aphelios can also win games on its own like Fiora can with all of these moon weapons, um, turn after turn getting moon weapons. So we have two champions that we are going to try to sit back and protect and have them win the games for us. And that's what our, our entire deck is kind of built around. We have the Veiled Temples in here that can keep increasing the um, power and health for our uh, two champions each turn as well and give us additional mana. So it's all about all about our two champions and protecting them. So um, it's kind of similar to... All right, we're, so we'll play our five games in ranked. It's kind of similar to our Trundle Braum deck where the Trundle Braum was, you know, all about those champions and, and maximizing both Trundle and Braum. This is a uh, kind of similar take, but heading on over to Targon instead of Freljord for our second regen. All right, playing against some Burn. So I want, I want Chain Vest and I want Fiora. All right, those are neither Chain Vest nor Fiora, but they... Uh, we have Aphelios into uh, two mana moon weapon. Okay, I'm gonna look at this. That that's the card that I was you know thinking of, like, am I gonna be playing this Bill Cascade and when when am I gonna be playing it? That kind of stuff. Um, but I, I love Prismatic Barrier. Prismatic Barrier allows us to block have Aphelios block Draven and uh, Jinx. And I just want to trade. Anything else? <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> this is pretty silly. Turn two, five bodies in play. Yeah, and then Battlecaster. Well, that's pretty silly. So that 12 damage? Yeah. Okay, now here comes a Draven. And so I waited. I, I didn't play this last turn. I want to do it this turn to to start counting as like the the first of two moon weapons. Well, it won't be easy to survive. Question was, how do we survive next turn? It won't be easy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> now they have a challenger, so they get to challenge my Aphelios. They were supposed to block the Draven. Oh, man. Okay. 
No, I mean, obviously, if they just top-deck Visions, I'm, I'm dead. I mean, if they just have you know, basically anything, I'm dead. I was definitely considering playing, like, the Sharp Sight here to kill the Flame Chompers to not let this Flame Chompers keep challenging. Um, but I'm going to hold on to it. The Sharp Sight can allow us to block an Elusive. My next card that I get is Severum. This works. Okay, good. That's good. Do this at three out of four. We have a chance. Kinda. Kinda. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. No I'm not dead yet. Maybe they don't have Get Excited. They haven't played Get Excited yet. Nope, they just top decked it. Alright, we need we need one more turn, right? We need one more attack. The next attack I was gonna have multiple Severums. Um, we're gonna have multiple large bodies. We need just a little bit longer. But they just drew it. We need them to not draw it that because obviously if they had it before they would have killed us. So they just you know they they just drew it there. But we needed that draw to not be get excited and the next draw, right? If the next draw was get excited, that would have killed us too. But if we could have faded those two draw steps from get excited. I think we would have won that. Hmm. This will be interesting. They have a lot of removal. I have a lot of protection. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Let's get rid of you, Concerted Strike. And we'll keep Fiora in Guiding Touch. Right? Yeah. I'd rather have Concerted Strike than Lunari Dustbringer. I think the Fiora is my most important card. That's what I'm thinking. So I want to save my Fiora. Good. I don't want to see either of those cards. Because Veil Temple is really important for me in this matchup of, you know, the sizing with their damage and everything. Fear the power. Do not see. It's not 14. Always 
Stop. Oh, gosh. You hate to see it. Uh, good news, though, I guess, with two Scorch Earths being gone, Scorch Earths are, is a card that, um, you know, that is a card that kills damaged allies. That's a card that can kill a damaged Fiora. All right, now is it is it finally time to start making some moon weapons? Maybe, maybe. Ooh, mind splitter could be cool. Oh, it still counts as being damaged? I just healed it. Oh, Sunblast Vigor? Hmm. Yeah, it didn't work out. Like I wanted it to. Hush does not work there. No, it's still dam- it, If you hush, it's still damaged. Hush, hush would not have saved. Um... Hush would not have worked. See as I see. We played Yasuo yesterday. This is me really just trading the sharp side and the egghead researcher for the jack. Um, which the egghead researcher I got for free from Aphelios, because the three damage thing I got for free from Aphelios also. Are they going Leviathan? Not really a good spot for me to play anything there. I like Fuse Firebrand. That would have been a spot where if they would have Ravenous Flocked my Fiora, I would have been able to hush the Fiora to keep the Ravenous Flock from um, dealing damage. Because then it would not have been stunned anymore. Yeah, because even if I use Chain Vest there, it's still... No, because I guess it would have four health. Yeah, never mind. So yeah, Flock, never mind. I, I had that math wrong. Sorry, my bad. I, for, I, I was forgetting about the one additional health from leveling up Fiora.
All right, they're gonna draw a bunch of cards. So they have the middle three are all fleeting. So they're gonna wanna play those. I hope they have like two Leviathans and a Swain out of those middle three. Okay, maybe not like that exactly, but something similar to that would've been nice. Um, doesn't matter which one you choose. So they will all be stunned, and I'll be able to uh, open attack. That's why we play Egghead Researcher, give us like that extra beefy power for the dragons. go. That is game. One on one. They will no match. Play. Like, Spacey's, Spacey's Catcher can get you Crescent Strike. So, yeah, Yasuo plus Aphelios. I can do some work. Mm. Uh, maybe our opponent's not here. I long for a worthy opponent. Or at least one that does anything. Let's get it, crew. Alright, they probably had some connection issue there, but now they're now they're here. Finger on the tree. Alright, pass the turn. Ephemeral decks are, yeah, like those are pretty fun. You've never seen an ephemeral deck in action. Those can be pretty fun. Even though, like, our, our hand's fine. Never mind, they're doing stuff. I want to play a Felios and I want to play a Moon Weapon, but if I do that, then I do leave the Fiora vulnerable to a parlay. And they're they're definitely playing all the parlays, so that's that's a tough choice whether or not to play the Moon Weapon. I'll probably get like the deal three damage Moon Weapon and try to do do three damage to this Monkey Idol. I, mean, I can just wait till next turn to do the three damage to the Monkey Idol. It's looking like they're not even here now. I mean, I think we'd be winning this game. So I want to make the moon weapon. Oh, they're here. Okay, they're actually here. I long for a world. I have no time for fools. Strike without worry. <laughs> Two down. Cheers. 
That's bold. Playing another monkey idol that allows me to challenge, you know, like that's a really easy challenge. So now, okay, so the, the thing now is I can make another moon weapon, right? I can throw away one of these two mana spells and then make the other, like, overwhelm moon weapon and then get that moon weapon also and play it, and then that will get closer to leveling up Aphelios. I think I'll just pass and not use one of these two mana spells for that, but that's that's an option, or even just, like, a Bastion, right? Like, I can just throw a Bastion on, like, a, a Fiora or an Aphelios and grab the moon weapon to be able to play it. Okay, well, I'm glad. I'm glad we just waited. I'm not glad that they stole my Concerted Strike, because I would like to have Concerted Strike. Yes, exactly. Yep, that's true. They they took it from the bottom deck, so we would not have seen that concerted strike. But I'm still sad that like there's a concerted strike at the bottom of the deck, right? Because it's a it's a card that I want to draw. So getting the moon weapon out of my hand, getting Aphelios closer to a level up. But maybe maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should just hold that for next turn from like a, a frostbite or something. And have that be my first out of two spells for next turn. Yeah, maybe that maybe I should just be holding that. Fiora's already gonna be healed. The the Severum already healed the Fiora. It looks it looks like Fiora's not healed. But the Fiora's already healed, because it's it'll, it's gonna be a five five. So after this round ends. It's just it's a damaged ally for this round. See, it's healed. Yeah, now I now I definitely wish I would have just saved the moon weapon, because then I could in that two spell mana I could just go like Veil Temple, then Moon Weapon, and then still have that extra mana. Alright, and they're they're passing still. I'm just gonna take the pass. Gonna take the pass. Go for the kill. And there's kill number four. I, I think my my opponent must have had like had connection issues there or something. <laughs> yeah, so long ago you forgot. All right, Trundle Trindamir. Trundle Trindamir is really cool. Um, they are going to be killing my stuff. Killing my stuff. It's gonna be a tough one to win. We are gonna have like um, Hush could be important. Uh, Bastion definitely very important. These Vengeance and Ruination cards aren't cool. Single combat not so good. Unless they play like the O4. I guess it's an 03 now, right? Nothing escapes my watch. Man. I'm just waiting until after Veil Temple to play Aphelios. We could, but. Safeguard our homes. Yeah. In Avarosa's name. We're not winning this game for a long time if we do win it. And so I'll just be patient. I think they just wasted all this mana anyway. So I could repost and fight, but they will likely have a vile feast to get rid of the barrier. 
I could shuffle Aphelios back, like this other Aphelios back in my deck and get a Moon Weapon. Yeah, I'll do that. Because that's going to get me... Um, I guess Severum. I don't, I don't really want Severum. Severum helps me keep going. I don't I don't want Calibrum. I don't want to kill this Arachnoid Sentry. Or Arachnoid, sorry, the Averrosen Sentry. Like, by doing that, we get a dragon, so right, so we we turn the Aphelios into a dragon. We don't know what kind of dragon. Yeah, it's fine. I'll knock him dead. Taking damage is good for my star shaping. Let's see if we kill Trundle. What do they got? Wow. I didn't expect that to work. Have a launch. I could let it happen and play new Aphelios. Or I can Sunblast Figure. It makes sense to Sunblast Figure. Yeah, it makes sense to do that. Keep this Aphelios alive. Make them use like a real removal spell on this Aphelios. This will level up Aphelios. I was fortunate that they didn't have hmm. They didn't have a vile feast just to kill it right there. So I want to play another spell cuz if I play another spell then the veil temple makes this Aphelios larger. But I don't really want to play any of these spells. Even though I want to play a spell, none of these are ones that I want to play. Right? Like, I don't want to waste a single combat right here. I don't really want to waste a repost or a bastion either. Um, so, I, you know, it could be, like, Guess from Beyond, I guess. That feels kind of a waste. I mean, maybe maybe it is a single combat. Yeah, maybe it is single combat. Let's go with the Immortal Fire. Live to fight. Right. Sorry, I forgot about the Vulnerable. <laughs> I was just gonna block it with the Immortal Fire, but right had Vulnerable. All good. We got another Phileos. I'm just gonna attack for six. No. 
So what am I worried about from them? It's not that much. For both of us. All right, down to ten. All right, keep that thing stunned. I feel like I could have won this right here with this relentless pursuit. Yeah, I just I just didn't need to play this Dustbringer, right? If I just play if I just play Repost instead, I just repost this Immortal Fire and then Relentless Pursuit. Yeah, so I could have won it here. Oh well, we'll wait a turn for Relentless Pursuit. I guess it's still a win. Never mind. It's still a win. Did they block those two, and it's exactly nine. Okay, sorry. That was kind of a mess there, that last little bit. But we are still... Just had, just had enough guards, right? Filio still got it done. Playing against some Draven Jinx. This was the matchup that we lost earlier. Like we have to mulligan Concerted Strike, even though Concerted, Concerted Strike can be like really what we need to take down um, a Jinx. The party has a yeah, I definitely like trading because we saw like last game. The, la the first game, whenever we played this, how they went really wide. Um, and I struggled with how wide they were able to go. So I, I definitely like just trading at any point that we can. So I'm going with the Severum. They can make my Fiora a 4-5. And then of course the Life Steal also. They can still kill Fiora, but it would take a few take a good amount of resources to do it. Just jury rigs. Survival skills. That was a good turn for them. Survival skills. Let's boogie. I need six mana. I need to be able to play Guiding Touch, Single Combat, and Pale Cascade this turn. All of them. I guess maybe I have to have Fiora die. Yeah, I guess we just have to have Fiora die. Wait, which means I should do this and this. Oh, no, 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 because Fiora's tough. Okay. 
so we can have a Felios die. One of these has to die to kill the Draven, right? Like, I'm, I'm single combating the Draven, so I have to have one of them die. I can either use the Guiding Touch to protect the Fiora or the Pill Cascade to protect the Aphelios. Okay, it's going to be... Alright, final answer. It just makes sense to be able to respond afterwards with, like, Pill Cascade. So we're going to go this way. Um, see what they got here with the Spinning Axe. Yeah, Survival Skills V Fiora. Pretty nice. Yeah, they put that over there. And how about that? We found another Fiora. Okay, so we're down to 13, but we still have a Felios in play that's going to be getting more Severums. So I like our chances. Ooh. Okay. No, no jinx, no jinx, no jinx. Good, no jinx. Mm. Oh, that's Infernum, not... Okay, never mind. I shouldn't take an Infernum. Well, like I have to just kill Draven, right? Because otherwise, this like I just have to kill Draven, don't I? Or can I just kill other stuff? I guess I, yeah, I guess I just kill other stuff. Okay, so I, I should have just played Egghead Researcher. I was planning on killing Draven, but decided not to. I need to think about my turns a little bit more before I, I play. I was j just like that. That was not a good turn by me, just everything that I did. Okay, so they gave me time. Only one life different. This puts me down to seven. That's a good draw. Don't expect them to kill me from seven before my next attack, where I can have Severum again. <laughs> hey, Professor Graves. Yeah, so our, our health total, our, our life total is seven. We're playing against a very aggressive deck. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. They're going to want to have, like, Mystic Shot or something like that to kill their own unit. But now... Now I'm probably going to be able... Oh, yeah, that's a good draw. Now I'm probably going to be able to just... Um, challenge the Draven, even. I think. Because it's like a 5-4 now, then we have Sharp Sight. And Bastion.
And so this, by giving this Overwhelm also, they can't, um, they can't kill their own unit and keep me from healing my Nexus. So yeah, this should be game. So there we go. Healed back up to 16. I can't imagine they can do 16 damage now. All right. Looks like we got it. And I'm just going to keep Bastion available. We don't need to play this Egghead Researcher. There we go. That's game. All right. Four and one. GG, so we got, that was our loss also earlier, so we got some revenge against the deck that defeated us. And we saw both our Demacia decks went 4-1, that's definitely what I'm more comfortable playing, Demacia decks. Um, so decks with Challenger and Combat Tricks and stuff like that, that's definitely right up my alley. And, and uh, yeah, this deck felt pretty good, felt pretty strong. I really, really liked Egghead Researcher creating those dragons for us. We kept on making like infinite mind splitters that did a really good job of closing out the game because I don't really have a top end here, you know, star shaping, I guess. We don't really have like real expensive top end cards and the Egghead Researcher did a good job of getting us those extra dragons and uh, getting us that top end. Because I did consider, because we've, we've done really well with War Chefs recently. And so I was thinking of maybe instead of playing Egghead Researcher, playing War Chefs. Where are you at, War Chefs? Where are you at? There you are. Playing some War Chefs in here and um and then uh you know having that be able to help support our champions and things like that but i'm glad we played egghead researcher instead um i liked our list i, I liked our list you know like there's these games kind of go longer like there's times where you need to repost or you know like we had the relentless pursuit against the shadow owls deck that was really nice and prismatic barrier was awesome against you know blocking draven that doesn't cost four mana to get to the barrier, right? Like, I, did, I don't want to play, like, two Repost because I don't want to have, like, too many Bastions and Repost and things at four mana. That can get that can get pretty mana-hungry. So I wanted a cheaper option. So I wanted a Prismat Prismatic Barrier. I liked having these different spells. You know, sometimes Guiding Touch was good. Sometimes Pill Cascade was good. Other times Sunblast Vigor was good. Just had kind of access to all of them there. And Chainfest did some work for us, too. All right, so that's Aphelios Fiora. Uh, a good... Another good deck if you like controlling the board like I do with your units. Um, and our two champions in particular are really, really powerful. All right, but those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But I hope you enjoyed this Rank Up Sunday stream. Um, that's it here for Aphelios Fiora. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.